On this story, I want to talk about how I got fired from Long John Silver's in KFC. Now, I had just moved to the city that I'm currently at. I hadn't been here long, and I was supposed to go to school, but unfortunately, things took course, and I had to help my parents out. So I ended up having to find a job. I li- This is before, like, you know, like, well, I think Indeed or I think, like, online searching for a job was around. I just don't think that it was where it was today. So I literally put my shoes on, good outfit. Uh, I'd take, a, I'd take like, a you know, big bottle of water with me. I'd take my ID, social, all that, and I'm ready to go job searching. But if you look back at my other videos or shorts, my first job was at KFC. So I said, all right, I have some KFC experience. Let me go and apply to the KFC that's near me. I go apply there. I talk about my experience. I talk about the general manager. She knows the general manager. I get a good reference. So I start. I start there. This is something that I learned. I learned that you can work at one location and go to another location and they're completely different. So, and another thing was I worked a different position. In the last location, I was like a, I was like a box guy. Like I'd, I'd make the buckets, I'd make the boxes. That was my job. I was on the line. I didn't do front counter or anything. But I didn't mention that. All I talked about was that I had experience at KFC. I didn't get into much specifics. And I guess she went off the reference to see if I was lying. Man, first day I'm on register. No training at all. And I realized, okay, I should have specified what I did there. But I don't want to go back. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a kid, by the way. So I don't want to go back and say I don't know how to do this. So I just try my best to go with my common sense. And it gets me kind of far. So finally, you know, I realize I'm ringing up the wrong things and I shouldn't have been scared to ask for help, but I was. So I didn't ask for help. I'm messing up stuff. I'm ringing up orders wrong. I'm charging the wrong thing, all this stuff. It was just one day, but I didn't have a schedule yet. Finally, I'm done with my shift and I'm like, hey, uh, when do I work again? She says that she'll call me next day. I didn't get a call. So the day after that, I called and I said, hey, um. Am I going to get my schedule? And she said, oh, it's the slow season right now, so I don't have no hours for you. Call back when it starts to get warm out. So I'm like, well, that sucks. All right. But again, I'm not even thinking. I'm No one's telling me anything. So I'm thinking, for some reason, I thought if I got another job while I'm supposedly still hired there, I'll look like not loyal. So I literally stick it out. It heats up. I call and I say, hey, uh, I just wanted to know, you know, I worked there prior. Uh, I was, was told when it heats up to ask for hours again. So I just want to know when I can work again. And she says, right now, I don't have any, I don't have a position. Uh, I don't have any positions open for you. And I'm like, well, don't I work there? Yeah, you do. But I don't have no hours available for you. So I saw my fired. I didn't say you're fired. I just don't have a spot for you right now. Well, will you give me a call? I'm not, I can't, I can't tell you right now. I know now that to avoid unemployment, she probably just kept me on the bench and basically she did fire me and just did it, I guess, the political way. But yeah, man, I got fired in a day, literally, without being told, you know, the respectful and honest way.